Holy crap, guys. Welcome back to another video. Look at this intro. From Forza Horizon 3. We're going to be revisiting it today. If you're asking why, it's kind of random. I've always kind of wanted to do this video for a really long time since last year, and I never got the chance to, but now I am. We did a revi revisiting Forza Horizon 4 video back in 2022, so I was supposed to do this video last year, but I didn't. But that got uh, a uh, good impression, so decided to do this on Horizon 3. The game sat down on the- Are we frozen? Oh. Oh, and it closed. Okay. Goodbye. Got it working. I just have to like reset the app. But it's working now. On highest graphic. Guess we'll drive around. It's 458 wide body. Hey, William. <laughs> Holy. Bro, the flames are so sick. This thing's got some power to it. So yeah, I remember getting this game back in 2018, just right before Forza Horizon 4 came out. Um, like earlier in that year, obviously, like April or something like that. It was like spring. I got like a $50 Walmart gift card for Xbox, or a $50 Xbox gift card from Walmart. Yeah, and through speed traps, speed zones, the AI does not, uh, go transparent. You hit them. Anyways, yeah, I got a $50 Xbox gift card from Walmart and spent it on this game on sale. I, never, I didn't start on Horizon 1, started on Horizon 2, and, and yeah, I, I feel like... Even if I started on Horizon 1, I would probably still say Horizon 2 is a better one. And in my opinion, that's my favorite Horizon. Um, I've just never played it on Xbox One, and because I've owned on the 360, and I've never played it ever since. So after that, went to 3, and then 4, and then now 5. So owned all of them except for the first one. But yeah, I do gotta say though, if you guys haven't seen the trailer for this game, when was that E3 2016? Insane. Easily my favorite game trailer of all time. And in my opinion, the best game trailer of all time. Absolute goosebump giving. That makes me tear up every single time I watch it. Pure cinematic masterpiece. Anyways, yeah, we are on highest graphics here on PC. So, like, this game was ahead of its time in 2016 for the graphics i do say maybe it's because they were going for like australia down under it's usually warmer and it's like a hotter climate and stuff but this game is also the most like vibrant looking and contrast feeling from like the speedometer to the skill points on your screen to the sky i mean wait a minute i remember that what was wrong with my Ugh. Oh, I really like my camera settings. Anyways, yeah, this, uh, you guys saw that for a second. The CR, the credits on top, that was like, if you 1v1 the AI, and they have that, that's like the double credits you win or something like that. Let's see if you can U turn. Yeah, you can see it on the map there. The handling does feel a little different from now in Horizon 5. Yeah, and the braking is crazy on this 458. Jesus. Off-roading in a rear-wheel drive. Drift to Liberty Walk 458. Oh, what? There's no road here. <laughs> Alright. Oh, I remember this area. This is not good for the 458. What the heck? Oh! Okay, I thought I was gonna stop there. There's a few things in this game that... that there's like more limitations in this game that some things you can hit some trees and fences and stuff compared to now. I didn't even see how many credits I saw. I got level 320. Was this when? Did they have the like pristine star things next to your, your level? I don't know if they had that in this game. Because right now it's like if you pass level 100 then you get that or 200 something like that. I'm 320. And also this is the only horizon where I didn't do a money glitch because I have what 4.3 mil I was like legit just doing races and stuff. Jesus, the city. Oh, you know what I just remembered? When you switch cars, you go into a new one. Uh, 
da, da, da. let's do by the way yeah these are all my cars this thing was crazy i remember i was so like amazed by the top speed when i first built it i don't know what i was kind of thinking with the wheels and i was kind of boring i did a lot of matte black yeah that's kind of yeah i think a few cars i tried fixing up um oh this thing was crazy yeah 10k credits to get your car delivered it wasn't free bro a ctsv coup yeah i built this uh like this isn't my first time getting back on in years I, I played this i don't know probably last year maybe maybe 2022 and yeah i built this a drag build but yeah before that i didn't even know the ctsv coupe was in the game this sounds so good though holy look how bouncy it is yeah there was also blizzard mountain and the hot wheels expansion this was the first time they came out the hot wheels expansion and now in horizon 5 I don't have either Blizzard Mountain, Hot Wheels, and the Hot Wheels in Horizon 5. And you can't get them anymore. At least I don't think. You can't even buy this game actually anymore. I just took that in. You, they took it off the Microsoft Store on PC and or Microsoft Store on Xbox as well. So I feel like the only way you could buy this game is a physical copy used or something like that for your console. Um, but yeah. This is a game you literally can't buy anymore. <laughs> oh yeah, this was the first time as well drone mode came into Horizon. I remember just exploring around with it and like, whoa, you can fly around your car, you can go over here, you're not even in the car. Look how brown the water is, holy. This game looked so good for 2016. Like, let's quickly check out, oh my gosh. No, we're not gonna talk about that. The Supra, if you guys haven't seen one of my most viewed videos, well, even my most viewed Horizon 3 video, which I think is my only Horizon 3 video, but anyways, is in this Mark IV Supra. Just cruising around the map. Holy, the 4G. <laughs> Look at that, the bucket list. Oh no, that's a midnight battle actually. So they even had those cars just parked on the side. Now it's just like, yeah, I know that's not that was rude. I was already talking anyways. The bucket list uh are the only things that show up, like cars parked on the side of the road. But now it's just an icon on the map. You don't even see any car parked there in game. Full throttle. This had 750 kilowatts. What car is this? Let me see. Oh the Z4 GTE. Bro, I forgot there were there was the our track car pack. Good gap, boy! This strip was so good. Doing like drag races here. I don't really do much of those, like in online. I feel like back then, the online wasn't like how, how it is in Horizon 4, for example. How it was like you just, you're cruising around, you just see random people like right there and then start cruising with them. I never really had experiences like that in, like in Horizon 4. Then again, I played like triple the amount in Horizon 4 then 3, so the likelihood of coming across something like that is more greater. Whoa. It's gonna turn there, but I guess not. Yeah, I completed like everything on the map. Except for yeah, those bucket list things leveled up all my festivals because that's how good this game was. You know what? Let's do this showcase race. I'll see you guys when I'm there. We're in Surfer's Paradise. The first ever big main city in a Horizon game. And really hasn't been a city like this since. So let's do this showcase event. Check it out. With the Chintanario cover car of this game. Whoa, that dude is absolutely glitching out like crazy. It has a power plant bigger than your car. But you know, Dub, foot to the floor. I believe in you. I still kind of believe in you. But you can rev your car before the race. That was so sick. Holy. Like, just look how vibrant this game looks. So good. Oh my god. Like, obviously, Great Britain. It's always kind of cloudy and stuff, so it'll look more gloomy and grayer, but, like, in general, it was nowhere near 
as colorful as this game. I feel like the brakes are really good on every car. Oh. Slow motion. <laughs> I think I was a little ahead of it, yeah. It's not at first. Oh my gosh. Jesus. Bro, I cannot turn out all in this game. I think that, yeah, I'm 85% done. I gotta catch up. I think in this game, or even just still now today, they always make it, yeah, right there, boom, first. They always, like, make you go from second to first at the last second. That's what I've always noticed in wow. each showcase and like each horizon. Man, does this game look good? Oh, yeah, the wheel spins looked a little different. Same with the super wheel spins. There was always, yeah, you, you can win this car or something. There's always something random. And then there was, I think, a perk or something where you can buy more wheel spins. Instead of now, you have to earn them. What? Wait a minute. I never noticed people were jogging and walking on the beach here and hold up what bro I just took that in oh that dude what the like this guy and those people down there they're all just walking across the beach I never noticed that and then there's like a group of people down there are just all partying I never noticed that that's pretty cool let's see what other my c63 that was pretty good I made this as, I think, the 4x4 square. Let's go to the drag strip or the airport. I mean, we were like over there, but like, God damn. Look at this. Just pure Australian outback with the sunset in the background. Barely any clouds, well, there are clouds that way, but this way, barely any clouds. And at the very end, there's just a hill to launch yourself on. Yeah, look at that. There's just airplanes on the side there, like in Horizon 2. Just go flying, landing on top of this. Oh, that would have been sick. I did. Oh my gosh, look at this. Bro, this looks way too good, this beach. Damn, this thing sounds good. Look, look, at, look at the water. Boom, sorry. Oh, why am I... Is this real drive? I can't check here. Oh, this thing's definitely rear wheel drive. What the heck? Into the jungle we go. All the trees at night, it's like pitch black. It's really cool. No street lights at all. First person looks so good in here. Ooh. Oh boy, we're we gonna wall ride? We are. We're rewinding though. Alright, now we gotta catch up a little bit. Turn. Oh boy. Bro. Oh, and we're catching up. Big gap. So they can easily catch up. If I make one little mistake. Bro, like, look at that. This dude's already up my ass. Now we're on the highway. Whoa, what the? Where did this dude come from? No, no, I don't even have to cut too much. I'm gonna slipstream him. And then go around him. Pass him in the inside. Yes. Well, I cannot turn at all in this game. So much undersea. This dude is keeping up this whole time with me. I am not losing him. Right, let's check the brakes and boom. And like, just like that, he's still on me. Like, <laughs> I don't know what he hit. I did not have to slow down that much. Oh boy. Oh, look at the vineyards. That was perfect. That time. 
Okay, we're going off road. We're back on road now. Damn, that turn I remembered always got me. Like, why can I just easily drift in this car? I'm trying so hard to keep up with this, but we're probably like, what, like 60% maybe? Like, this game had an insane amount of understeer in every car, even on the stock Shen scenario earlier in the showcase. So much understeer. Might be catching up here. Boom, there we go. Why is this two gentlemen electric Corvette? I just need the tires. Oh, that was perfect. Nine minutes in. And we're almost there. I want to say like 80% done. Bro, this dude's gonna catch up. Holy. Full throttle. Great Ocean Road. Yes, sir. Oh, what down here? Bro, look at this beach and the cliff on the side, these rocks in the water. This is so sick. And then into this little cove. Okay, we're going this way. Around the rock. Oh, God. Here we go. Such cool rocks. It would be so cool to visit in real life. And boom! Pass the line in style. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for Forza Horizon 3 in 2024. This game is so much fun. Uh, leave in the comments down below if you guys want to see more of this or uh, revisiting Horizon 4 video again or something like that. Show some love if you guys like this kind of video. Subscribe for more and watch out for next week's video or maybe like middle next week will come out for the auto show uh, in Toronto. It's going to be a big step up from the previous one. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, I'll see you guys then. Peace. Thank you.